Hey, it's Chris from the Chris Stefanik Show. We dive into how to live a more joyful life every day, the kind of life that God created you for. Check it out. We are all born with God-given talents when it comes to like very specific kinds of work. Mm -hmm. And if we don't know what those are, how can we serve God and be good stewards of that? Yeah. The other thing is God intends us to use the gifts he gave us. But sometimes in life we think I'm supposed to get, use the gifts he didn't give me because, mm -hmm. because that's like, I need to sacrifice mm. and do that. So like I grew up I'm with- I'm just toughen up, just offer right. it up. Just do stuff you hate. I have the gift of invention, coming up mm. with new ideas and discernment, evaluating ideas and things. When I'm doing those, I am fed and I, am, and, and I, can, give, I can do serve God that way and that's how I serve others. Mm. I don't have the gift of tenacity, you and I don't. That's yep. one of the gifts. That's like finishing things and wrestling things to the ground and being yep. precise. Yep. And I also don't have the gift of enablement, which is like when somebody says, I need your help. The piano teacher. The piano teacher. I'll Same. sit by you. I'll and sit just... next to you and do that. Yep. And I used to feel bad about that. And in my life for years, I thought I was supposed to be doing the things I was bad at. Because mm. if it was pleasurable, then it was selfish. Wow. See, I had, I had certain wounds that this healed of you know, of not measuring up in certain ways. And, and so as, as a guy who has a small company, a real life Catholic, it's, it's a nonprofit, oh. small company. I, all these lies of like, well, as a boss, I should, I should have this gift of tenacity. I should love sitting in front of a spreadsheet. You know, and like, dude, that, my eyes glaze over, I get a twitch. I'm just I, lazy. Yeah, I'm just not a responsible administrator. Or if I'm dreaming too much, oh, it's just Chris being out of control, you know. I start gaslighting myself. And then, frankly, surrounding myself with people who sometimes would, you know, just feed into what I'm already doing to myself. That's the devil. Oh, that's crazy. You know, priests use this, and they, they go... I'm not good at wonder and invention. Those are yours. Yes. Wonder. Yeah. Chris is great at like, there's six of these. There's wonder six is the geniuses, first right? Yeah. And workinggenius.com. Go there and you can learn yes. all about it. Dude, it, you have to go to workinggenius.com. And go we there. priced it at $25 to take the assessment. Dave Ramsey, my friend, said, what? You could have charged well, a lot more. It, yeah. We want everyone to do it. Yeah. Chris is the genius of wonder. You ask questions, you ponder things. You're like, mm -hmm. why is that the way it is? What about that? And you know, your wife will tell you, oh, you do it all the time. Yep. My wife and you are the same type. <laughs> Every time I, yeah. I, she frustrates me, I go, I love you, Laura, because I love Chris too. <laughs> and you're exactly like him. So trust me, when I'm, when I'm telling you you're driving me crazy, I tell him too. <laughs> and she's like, well, you do love Chris. So, okay. <laughs> so therefore I believe you. <laughs> so you're good at wonder and invention. Yeah. You are a fount of new ideas and new questions. Yeah. God wants you to do that. Mm. But what, what the devil comes along and says, no, you shouldn't be doing that. You yeah. should be doing the stuff you don't like. Yeah. So these priests will call and say, I don't have wonder or invention. So writing a sermon is hard for them. You, mm. you write a sermon in three minutes. Yeah, I, I'll, right, right. It's I, 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 I gave a friend a wedding toast because it was a last minute request and people were crying. They're like, that's, that's one of the best. Ones. You must have really worked hard in that. I'm like, no, I just, I never leave this space. And God gave you yeah. that gift. Now, yeah. If you're a pastor who became a priest to give his life to God, and you're yeah. not good at writing sermons, we've, we've had these pastors say, I felt guilty for 20 years because I'm bad at that. Maybe I shouldn't be a priest. Yeah. He wants to hear confession, and he wants to come alongside someone and just help them in their need in that moment. Yeah. I don't want to be inventive. I just want to pour into them enablement. Mm. And that's a different gift. Yeah. Not every priest is meant to be everything. In fact, none of them are everything. Yep. And so every pastor is sitting there going, I can't write good homilies. Another one is like, I'm not good at listening to confession. Another one's like, I'm not good at the budget. Another one's like, I'm not good at inspiring people. It's like, yeah. And all of them living with the lie, especially that have that wounds they're, they're working through, that they're inadequate, that they have to be good at all these things. Or they're just being selfish if they spend all their time in homily land or in coaching people land. Or if they need to ask for help from their team, well, that's because they're lacking or they're giving up control if they do that, right? All Absolutely. Lies. When I was a kid, my dad wanted me to help him mow the lawn. Yeah. But he wanted me to be an enabler, which means do whatever he asks, mm. and, a, and a tenacity, which is finish. T those are my two weaknesses. They're called my working mm. frustrations. Mm. I felt guilty for not loving helping my dad. He'd go, help me mow the lawn. I'd be like, oh, I hate this. I'd go out and do it. I'm a terrible son. And two years ago, I wrote, I figured this out, and I was like, oh, that was just not my, <laughs> not my thing. If my dad had said, hey, Pat, I want you to go figure out how to do the lawn, do it your way. <laughs> and, and you decide what flowers to plant and how to do yeah, it, yeah. come up with a new way. I would have yeah. been like, yes! But yeah. he wanted something that just, and if he had known that, he'd have yeah. said, oh, this is painful for you. Yeah. So, so now I'm going to my kids and trying to figure so out.
Man, wasn't that amazing? I get so much out of these conversations that I barely care if anybody else is watching. But I prefer, obviously, to share this great stuff with the world. So be sure to subscribe and share it with everybody you know, and we'll see you in the next video.